Hello, my favorite students. We're going to do a wet on wet watercolor portrait modeled after the Artistina person. With this project, you'll be drawing a portrait using a high contrast image. And then when you paint, you'll be able to choose three analogous colors um, on the, next to each other on the color wheel. And as you paint your image, the wet on wet technique will make those colors bleed together and create some really fun patterns. Have fun with this, guys. So the idea is we're going to take this high contrast image and I'm going to make it into a black and a light, black and a white, so just two values, dark and light. Um, and I'm going to transfer it over to this watercolor paper before I paint. Last time I showed you, I, I printed a higher contrast version of it. Um, but I went ahead and I took my photograph and I put a piece of tracing paper on it. And I traced over it and then I decided from that, it's not, you can't just trace and call it good. You've got to decide where your black and white space or shapes are going to be. So you can see with this drawing, that I've divided it into just darks and white, or blacks and whites, darks and lights. Okay, there's a couple places I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna deal with it, and I think it's right down here. I'll, I think I'm gonna fade out the wet on wet right here. But for the most part, it's gonna be just black and white, okay? So once I have the, the drawing on my tracing paper, I can just, <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to ruin the paper underneath that. So I can just turn it over and take uh, my, my black um, Prismacolor Ebony and scribble, scribble on the back so that I can trace it all onto my watercolor paper. Just take my watercolor paper. Ooh, can I use your sharp pencil? I forgot to get a pencil. So here's my watercolor paper. I'm going to turn this over and decide where I want it. And then I'll take something and trace over what I already drew. Alright, so I have my drawing here, um, and I've divided, I made my drawing so everything is divided into dark and light shapes. Okay, um, and I'm going to now take my paper, my, I've transferred it to my watercolor paper, and I'm going to tape my paper onto the board. I do this so my watercolor paper doesn't warp out of control. And I'm trying to copy Stina Person's style. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by getting the areas wet that I want to paint. So let me start with a bigger area so it's a little easier to see.
So you can see here my color scheme I chose was an analogous color scheme with reds, blues, and purples. And um, it's a lot of fun. Have fun with this, everybody.